Starting off this fourth rotation on the vault, Zhang Bohong from China, third position right now. But these next two events for him are certainly strong. Should keep himself in that top three. Huge potential here. Triple twist. Nicely done, very clean. Little bit of chest Just down though. Landing. But going for the landing. So there's obviously that fine line between trying to stick at the landing, but also minimize deduction. So take a look right here. Pretty controlled, just that hop. It's a little tough to see the chest down there, but. And so I don't know, that's right on the line. Remember, more than one foot, three tenths deduction. I would say that was right on the line. Kind of depends what, what kind of mood the judges are in. Uh, absolutely. Today. <laughs> They're usually in a bad mood, I think. 14.866 <laughs> early in this fourth rotation. That will be the top all around score. I mentioned the leaders on vault. The, the top group of qualifiers are on vault. Our leader, obviously, Kyle Sosa. He is over on the high bar in this rotation. Second place after the third rotation is Hashimoto Daiki. This is a big one for him. He'll do the exact same vault that we just saw, but he can actually do it a little cleaner and has been known to stick this. It's very, very tricky to get all of this gymnastics done and not move your feet when you land. Visualizing his vault just a few moments before he goes. Wow. Oh, oh boy, and did he go for that landing? He wanted the stick. I think wow. he heard you, Tim. <laughs> that was impressive. It was great. It looked like just needed to absorb that landing a little bit more, and he could have stuck it a little stiff-legged. Yeah, but he was just really trying to Really going for that landing. Great form in the air. Bam! That's a three-tenth hop for sure, though. Man, he gets some air, though. Yes, he does. He's actually capable of adding another half twist to that vault. Thought we were going to see it in Tokyo, but opted to go with the easier vault, which is really a confusing statement because that's not easy. <laughs> Pleased with that one. Parallel bars and high bar yet to go for Hashimoto. So 14-8 actually moves him into second just behind Zhang Bohong. Zhang Bohong outscored him on that event by 0 0.066. Our top two going into this fifth rotation, Zhang Bohong and Hashimoto Daiki. It appears that it's going to be a battle between these two on these last two rotations. Here's Hashimoto now. Very nice. These are the skills that that sugar water is used for. The grip. Gorgeous right there. So calm. Nice release from one end of the bar to the other. Now back to the middle. All right, judges, where are the deductions? Dismount. Oh, boy, that was spectacular, but he wanted that dismount. It's a three-tenths of a point swing, which he certainly was deducted for that. But before that, wow, just gorgeous work. Very flighty. You said, judges, where are the deductions? And I concur with you, Tim, but they're going to find a point off, right? They are going to find a point off, yes. If he had stuck that, though, there's no way they could have or should have come up with a point off. 
Once again, the dismount. That's definitely three tenths of a point there. They're going to probably be somewhere right around a nine, though, I would say. They, they should be. But right now, all eyes on Jang Bo Hung. Beautiful. Floats on that. Nicely done as well. Oh gosh, and that was that was just tremendous. So much flight on that. It's called a bofsar, named after great American gymnast Raj. And once again, like I was saying with Daiki, Hashimoto. Where, where are the deductions? Where are the deductions? Because this is every bit as clean or cleaner. Yeah, I would say it's cleaner. And oh, oh Gymnastics 101, baby. Fly high and stick to landing. What a routine. Wow, we got it twice in one competition. <laughs> oh my goodness, that. That was amazing. He is certainly going to be the leader again, right? After the score comes up, I would think. Well, if they get, if the judges do their job, he absolutely would. Look at how he just floats on that. It's called a whippet or a hamna. Tremendous flight. I hope we get to see this skill. Look at wow. the clearance on that. So Hashimoto got an 8.866 for his execution score, which we, I think, all agreed is, is too low. This should be a 9.4, 9.5. Well, it should, be a, it should be a 10, in my opinion. They're certainly not going to do that, but... But that's what we talked about. The best gymnast in the world should get the best scores, especially if there are no real deductions. But the judges seem to sometimes always not even sometimes always find something yeah this is state of the art gymnastics and state of the art being the best in the world should and approach that. that 10. and the olympic champion even knows that you got to give props when you see something great it's a 9.266 execution score tim's not going to be happy but that 15366 gives him the lead now it's zhang bo hung's opportunity to put that pressure on once again Remember, both of them had falls early on. Second rotation on the pommel horse. Here we go, though. Got to grab the bar. Oh, wow. wow, perfect. Fantastic. One more. Oh, can't do it better than this. We said Russian giants on high bar. Those were German giants. Actually, a little shy in that handstand, though. He's got a slightly lower maximum start score than Hashimoto. It was three tenths in qualifying. Never know if both of them will do the exact same routine, though. But this, oh boy, just about as well as he can do up until that big at least three tenths it's a three tenths step he he puts the pressure on but you can't you're gonna look back and go if he just misses it that step how many times have you seen it before that that last landing but the releases were fabulous tremendous gymnastics beautiful and you know not just like elegant and nice looking, but you know, like powerful. And perfect extension from the bar. He couldn't be another inch away or he would have missed it. Amazing. You know what he's thinking about right now, John? Gymnastics 101. <laughs> he's thinking about that right there. Oh. Absolutely.
Well, and Hashimoto really, really does watch. <laughs> some some athletes are em emboldened, empowered from it. And, and you know, to be completely honest, he, he's standing right by the podium, very, very closely watching, not just looking on. Yeah, it was interesting, you know, when they were actually, when he was chalking up, Hashimoto was standing right there. Like, <laughs> and it, it was a little uncomfortable, almost like, I don't think he was, but getting in his face a little bit. Wow, a big 14.8. And that 87,981 is now the total to beat. He's been here before. Hashimoto Daiki, with all the pressure on at the Olympics, delivered time and time again. But look at that needs to score a 15.151. That would be bigger than what he scored in the qualification. Can he do it again? Watch these releases, though. Very similar start to his routine. Oh! Wow. Now he's got to connect these releases, which are very tricky as well. Wow. Looking for a handstand. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Pressure? What's pressure? He has to stick though, right? A 15.15 is a huge score. Little tossed it out there. Oh my goodness. And just like before, that he is going to be thinking about that hop on that landing, wanting to go back to the end of that routine and do it one more time. So now the question is, is it enough? And I'm gonna talk about the elephant in the room a little bit throughout this competition is we felt like he maybe got the benefit of the doubt on some of his scores. We talked about Pommel Horse was a little higher than we expected. Do the judges throw the big number right now, 15-1-5? Well, the way that they have been judging, it almost looks to me like, yes, that could very well happen, but certainly was great on the bar. Beautiful combination right here. So risky. Timing is so critical on that. So, Tim, you mentioned that there's a three-tenth difference in start values. You see the double-double dismount. That. And that is a three-tenth hop. At least technically it should be. So, But, it, but it's kind of close, you know? So it, it's a judgment call that the official has to make. So, Tim, a three-tenth difference in start value. Bohong got a 14.8. If you just look at the start value, that puts this one at a 15.1. Assuming the execution is very similar, if not the same, which it felt pretty similar. It did. He, he Actually, Bohong, though, had one element where he definitely was far from the bar. Oh, my goodness. It could not have been a whole lot closer. A 15.133. Zhang Bohong has got the number one up. You are the world all-around champion, and he upsets the Olympic champion, Hashimoto Daiki. Did they get it right? Wow. You know, in a lot of ways, I think if you look at the overall meet, I think that they did get it right. I, I, I think it kind of happened by accident, however. But Zhang Bohong, wow, left off the Olympic team. He won the final trials in China, and they went with a more experienced team. Lots of folks thought that that was a big mistake. I was one of those folks. I'd call this redemption. Good for him.